Hey loves, it's Angelica aka Angie B. Welcome back to my channel and we are getting straight into it today. I am trying the Jerry Curl Juice. Yes, you guessed it. That's what my hair was looking like straight after shampooing and conditioning and I already moisturized the rest of my hair. So I'm just showing you on this one section how I moisturized my hair. I'm using the African Pride Moisture Miracle Moisturizer and you can see I'm being sort of generous with it and I'm putting it on the whole section because I don't want to put way too much I don't need to divide my hair into smaller sections so this is what I did to all the other sections and I like my moisturizer to kind of sink in a little bit so I started with this section but when I start applying the products I'll actually be applying them on the other section so this is what I did to every section that you can see first I applied the conditioner and then I got my wide tooth comb and started detangling from the roots all the way to the tips and you can see I hold my comb very gently and it just does the job it gets the job done there's no tangles but I don't go in like with a tangle teaser or a Denman brush because that will that will be done as I am styling my hair so now I'm just clipping that little section up and I'm starting from that other back section so I'm starting with small pieces I'll be dividing everything into smaller pieces just because it allows the product to go in well and let's just give it up for this beautiful bottle aka really ugly packaging from S curl no drip this is supposed to be their moisturizer that is like more I don't know curl activating but it comes in a bottle and I know that my hair needs thick products to be moisturized which is why I went ahead and moisturized a big section with my regular moisturizer first and then I went ahead and used this moisturizer and as you can see I was pretty impressed with the curls that were coming out but this is kind of like the regular curl I would get when I comb my hair with a Denman brush when I used my regular moisturizer so this was nothing amazing and now it's time for the magic S curl gel now this is actually not a hair gel like a holding gel it's just an activator gel i just discovered that and this would have been a mess if i used it as a plain gel and i could actually see that it really did make my curls pop it's like when you do an instant protein treatment and your curls come back to life look at those curls like not defined but the curls are there and now to seal in the definition i'm using my trusty eco styler gel don't come for me i know there's drama about it it works fine in my hair so i'll continue to use it thank you very much so you want to kind of be generous with, with this but i would say don't be too generous with the s curl gel because it kind of flaked after a day or so when it dried so just a little heads up use slightly less than what i'm using so i was using the raking method and then going ahead and doing the prayer hands method just to smooth everything Thing down and when I tell you I was so shook like I can't even explain it this this is the best my curls have ever looked just look at that the perfect curl pattern the definition I know there's one little piece that's not super defined there but I went ahead and continued to spray it down I mean to do the prayer hands motion so now we're going to continue to do all the rest of the sections in high speed while I talk to you a little bit and then I discovered that any of the sections that felt a little bit dry I went ahead and sprayed them down with my continuous mister bottle and then I went ahead and sprayed the escrow leave-in into my hand instead of directly onto my hair I felt like I had more control over the product that way and I could just evenly distribute it in my hair better than spraying it onto my hair so now let me just tell you a little bit about these products and by the way if you are enjoying this video so far please give it a big thumbs up and if you didn't subscribe at the beginning I post a bunch of videos about growing your natural hair a little bit of styling a little bit of skincare and makeup when requested so if that seems like your thing hit the subscribe button in the bottom corner right there and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications every single time I post okay so these are not new products by any means they are old I don't know how old but probably maybe since before I was born these products already existed the packaging is really ugly and it looks like the products are crap basically but when I went ahead and read the ingredients at the end of the video you see I actually mentioned exactly what the ingredients are but as I read through the ingredients I was like wow these products are actually not as bad as i thought they look like they're filled with silicones alcohol and mineral oil but they actually don't have mineral oil they have some alcohol they don't have too much silicones and they're actually pretty good products so as i was doing this you'll see that as i continue to do it i continue to get more excited and this was the true test this front section of my hair is always difficult to curl because it's more of like a 3c pattern but can you see that definition my curls were so like almost you know the closest to uniform that they can get 
I truly believe the activator gel combined with the moisturizer. Next time I think when I just like when I'm doing it and not filming it, I'll test it out with only the moisturizer and another time I'll test it out with only the gel to see which product is better at like, you know, activating the curls. But I was so impressed because the hair in the front, my like 3C hair, I don't know if it's 4A or 3C, whatever. I don't care that much as long as I, you know, I figure out how to do the thing. But whatever that texture is that's looser than the rest of my curl pattern is much harder to curl in the front, but it was just easily bouncing into the curl it usually takes a while like when the gel, the gel sets in then it starts to like curl up slowly but I didn't have to do anything I didn't have to do any like twirling any like finger coiling or anything like that it's just you see me sometimes when I'm separating the curls after I mash them down together just to make sure there's no like netting or anything like that I would just separate them and push my hand down the curl as you can see right now like individually but I didn't have to do that too much and I didn't have to do any coiling at any point and in the front section near my edges I, I literally just used my hands and look at this I was so shook I was like the bob guy just look at that movement like what can we also give it up for my curls like my hair is growing so much faster than I expected and this is the last little section in the front. I went ahead and did everything I did to every other section here. Guys, if you're thinking of doing this or you're doing it while watching this, awesome. If you're thinking about doing it, I highly recommend you to do it. But we haven't reached the end of the video. You haven't seen it dry. You haven't seen the rest of it. So don't leave now. Just see what I'm saying. Like this this is the one. I rarely do wash and goes. Like probably once every two months once every month and a good little section and I'm like I'm gonna put some effort and style my hair but you know protective styles is the way for me I'm on a hair growth journey I'm not on a styling journey and I don't really care that much about doing this I will go crazy with my styling and trying all this crazy stuff on my hair is at my goal but look at that and look at my tiktok transition coming soon like fluffy curly and then boom little twist and all my hair is done Look at that movement. Have you ever seen this from me? Ever? Okay, so this is the next day and you can see my curls are looking so good. I am doing the banding method just to try and stretch, stretch my curls a little bit. They have been stretching for about an hour or so. I just wanted you to see how nice and curly the hair looks. Like, what? I am, when I say I am shook by this combination, I will say though my hair took so long to dry but part of that I know is because it's extremely hot and humid and I have low porosity hair and I have a lot of it and it's super thick so it always takes long to dry it always takes very long to dry whenever I do a wash and go so I did go in with a diffuser a little bit as well but just see an up close of how nice and shiny the curls are my hair feels so nice and soft it does not feel crunchy so now I'm just going to take these bands out and then I'll come back on screen so you guys can see you know what the curls are looking like all out okay so this is my hair after taking it out of the bands definitely I highly recommend the banding method this is the first time I've ever done it and I am very happy with the results it stretched my hair so nicely so if you guys would like a tutorial on how I do the banding method let me know and I'll make one but can we just give it up for these curls I mean look at how defined they are what it's the curls for me it's the definition for me super defined this literally looks like it's just my hair texture i just washed my hair got out of the shower and it just happened to look like this like the curls just formed like this this is what it looks like i really really like it i mean i have thick type 4 hair and to get it defined like this is like a miracle will i recommend these products highly highly recommend so these two products i think i would definitely use them together again the packaging is so bad like this is some of the worst packaging i have ever seen however if a product works amazing and it just happens to have ugly packaging i'm still gonna use it but it's not gonna make me want to buy it and i'll give you another perfect example this is one of my favorite lotions from vaseline and it is the even tone one and basically the even tone just means it has some niacinamide in it which means it evens your tone out 
and this used to be in white and pink packaging and it was so pretty and then they put it in this orange packaging and it reminds me of all like the carrot oil lightning cream things that they sell i don't know whether they discovered this kind of packaging sells better in africa since people still buy a lot of those like carrot oil things but oh my god vaseline you probably won't watch this but please change the packaging so i can enjoy buying it it's always a struggle for me to just pick this up because i'm like do i want that in my bathroom because it's so ugly anyway this reminds me of like animal products like horse shampoo or dog shampoo or something it's just not appealing but the ingredients are not that bad it has water glycerin propylene glycol panthenol which is pro vitamin b5 it has hydrolyzed collagen argan oil olive oil it has fragrance and coloring obviously those ingredients are actually pretty good for a hair product. This looks like it contains all the worst products you can think of just because of the way it looks. And I was also very impressed by this moisturizer. It also has deionized water, glycerin. It has a little bit of alcohol kind of high up, but it also has propylene glyco, argan oil, olive oil, basically sort of the same things, but just different kind of formulations the upside is they're cheap the downside is they're not actually that cheap because if you have thick hair like me then you have to use a lot of it and i basically used half i don't know if you can see i basically used half for this one wash and go so it's i don't know how i can say it for me it's fine because i don't do wash and goes that often like after this i'm probably gonna do a wash and go in like I don't know a month or two months unless it's very highly requested from you guys and you want to see a specific wash and go so like the amount of times I would use this would not be that often so it would still be fine and basically affordable but if you do wash and goes all the time and you have thick hair like me it's cheap but it will also seem expensive because you don't get that much in the packaging especially of the gel for what you're paying for will I use this again definitely next time I will do a wash and go I'm gonna do this with my eco styler am i going to purchase them again probably actually i really really enjoyed these products another thing i always say just because it has a little bit of you know silicones and fragrance and unnatural products doesn't mean it's not gonna work i use a bunch of products with these things in them and my hair works fine however if i find an ingredient that my hair does not like whether it is natural or not i just avoid it example you know what i'm gonna say coconut oil my hair hates coconut oil if it is formulated well into a product then my hair is fine with it so please just do that with your products don't demonize certain products just because they're not all natural or you think they're going to damage your hair because they have a little drop of alcohol which is usually drying to your hair just see how it's formulated and then make your judgment and yeah if you want more videos like this of me testing out more kinds of products you know makeup skincare reviews whatever you want just let me know in the comment section below give this video a big thumbs up if you like this and if you're going to try these products or if you have tried them also let me know in the comment section below hit my face right there if you didn't subscribe to my channel in the beginning hit my face here if you'd like to subscribe to my other channel which is all about starting a youtube channel growing on youtube and all that kind of stuff watch the two videos on the side of the screen right here if you'd like to see any of my older videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye